Hey traders, Akil Stokes here once again. I want to thank you for checking out this week's Live Room Weekend Review. As always on the agenda, I have some highlight videos from this week in the Live Room. I'm going to talk a little bit about the syndicate. And if you hang on to the very end, I've actually got a, a bonus trade uh, that I want to show you for, for those of you that are swing traders and uh, you know maybe looking for a, a possibility when the market opens this Sunday. Uh, now following that up, because we're at the end of the month, uh, we ended November. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the, the overall stats uh, a little later. Um, but I wrote this before our day started. And right now I'm on my Facebook group right here. If I can find it. All right. Here we go. I wrote this before Friday's trading session. I said, hey, guys, last trading day of the month, gang. On this day especially, it's important to stick to your plan and not to do anything out of the ordinary. If you're down for the month, don't become super aggressive trying to get it back in the black or to break even. If you're up for the month, congrats, but that doesn't mean you need to become ultra conservative due to fear of potentially losing some of your profit. Your plan is what got you here and your plan is what will your plan is what will take you to the next level. So do me a favor on this 30th day of the 11th month and stick to your plan. I say this because November was a weird month to a lot of us. A lot of uh seemed like the market was on edge between the presidential election at the beginning of the month and then the fiscal fiscal cliff scare throughout the rest of the month. And it, it was it was a tough trading month. I know personally um we have been profitable in the room, but we had a a, a lot of it's, it's been slow. We've had days where we have two trades, one win, one loss. We've done a lot of analysis only to see the market um not give us a reason to get into the trade and that can get frustrating and I want to send this message out to traders because on the last day of the month is when a lot of traders seem depressed you know if they're down if they're, if they're in the red they try to start forcing trades so they can say I gotta got get my account back to break even I gotta end with at least a little bit of profit and then on the other hand you see traders that are sitting in the profit and they get timid they get scared to trade because they say oh, I don't I don't want to blow it all on the last day I'm already up maybe I should just sit back um, so it's important to know that you, you got to stick to your plan through thick and thin. And that's exactly what we did in the live room on Friday. And we ended up having our, our second best trading day of the month. We went four for four, hit about 130 pips, I believe. And you can see we, we put in a lot of work and it paid off. And so it's important to, important to say, you know, stick to your plan. You know, we were already up. We didn't need to trade. I, we could have simply sat back and said, hey, we're going we're gonna to call it another positive month. But we didn't. And as a result, you know, we, we ended up finishing with uh, more pips than what we usually average month to month. And we also increased our equity curve by another 6% this month. Um, so, you know, it's not rocket science. You know, you put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into your plan, you know, use it. And so with that being said, I'll, I'll, I'll get into how Friday went. And again, I'll be back a little bit later to talk about uh, uh, well, a possible trade setup uh, coming up on the swing trading side of things. Three words to describe how today went. Great freaking day. Great freaking day. You can see on the charts ahead of you, we did a heck of a lot of analysis, which has been, uh, let me get my stops to break even real quick. Just had a target one winner, New Zealand dollar butterfly pattern, about 30 pips. Boom, money in the bank. Target two set already. Um, I was saying, you can see by my charts, we did a lot of analysis, which has been the theme all week. And, you know, all week we've been doing it. It seems like we've had one of the, the, the best weeks of analyzing the market, really doing a good job of, of predicting what we wanted to happen or what we thought would happen. And unfortunately, we just, we just haven't had it happen. You know, we've been taking about two trades a day. Um, usually ends up being one winner, one loser. Today, well, it, it, it all came together. It all came together, which was great. And I'll just take you through some of the stuff we looked at. Um, got about nine charts. We have Euro Dollar, which was an awesome trade because we had a cipher pattern here in uh, the red and blue. Now, we entered this cipher pattern right as a news event came out. And for you guys that have been following me, you know I, I can give two licks about news. You know, it doesn't matter. I trade what's on the chart. I trade what I see. Only news event I switch my plan away from is uh, non-farm payrolls. But we had a cipher pattern, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D down here. We entered on a, on a, a big bearish momentum candle. You see this big one. And, and, it, and, it, and it, brought, it brought some fear. 
and it brought some fear to a lot of traders in the room because we entered and I'm telling you we within a matter of seconds we went from entering the trade to down 10 you know luckily again we're smart with stops here's our X leg we know stops need to be below our X legs why because that's what our rules say we held it out for a little bit and look what happened market came right back up giving us a two target winner target one target two we got out before the market reversed beautiful trade great for discipline and I told the traders in the room if, if this was one that maybe you skipped because you were a little fearful a little scared or or maybe this was a trade that you were in and you you took your stop out early or you made some type of mistake what you need to do take the image of the chart you know copy it save it to your computer print it out put it up on the wall in front of you and 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 use this as an example say hey in this trade I entered as soon as I entered market went against me yes I was scared yes I was fearful but I had stops in a smart place and we talked about this earlier right below a structure level I had stops in a smart place stuck to my rules and I was rewarded with a win and rewarded with profit and that's that's how you trade so I, I get pretty pumped when I see stuff like that especially when you know when I hear new traders say Akil you know I entered and you could tell usually I would have uh, usually I would have I would have got stopped out but you know I, I decided to stay in and it paid off you know that's beautiful going down to euro yen we're still in this trade right now and we looked at this earlier we, we had a lot going on here we had a uh, we predicted well first of all we had a flag pattern form right here before the market so we saw our flag boom a big bullish move up flagged off channel down we had a breakout now what this does is form a really good level of structure and my, my big red line right here too is is major structure off the, the four hour and, and daily chart as well so the prediction was that whenever we see a break in the close above structure you know I expect the market to go that way but I also expect the market to come back and retest it before going that way so if we can find an advanced pattern that comes to that area um, a great chance to get long and even trail trail for advanced targets now I talked about you know why you may want to be weary of that on a Friday um, but that's for an another time but you can see we drew out a bigger bat pattern that's what ended up getting filled we also had a smaller bat and a smaller cipher in here that we looked at for analysis purposes but didn't take um, so we got filled the bat we hit target ones we're still searching for target twos and there's actually uh, hidden up here at these highs another bat pattern so you know what you could do if you're still trading put a stop and reverse right here hit your target twos get short on a new bat pattern and see if you can make money on the way down as well um, New Zealand dollar I know I'm rolling through this fast but that's for uh, time purposes New Zealand dollar we just got target ones hit as I mentioned earlier on this pair we had a butterfly pattern which I don't like to trade often but this one lined up perfectly I have my 127 inversion lining directly up with my my 1618 extension um, also have a, a double ABCD pattern in this area as well and you can see right at a right at a structure level too, making this a, a very good bat pattern to take and uh, I actually missed this the first time we, we had got filled on the new spike uh, I missed it put orders back there just in case we retested it what do we do we retested it now we're moving up and I can actually roll stops a little a little higher since we have structure up here I'll tell you what the traders in this room guys they, they are uh, they're, they're learning and learning fast they are learning and, and learning fast and it's it's pretty impressive and some of these guys are pretty good before they came in the room the room acts as more as a more of a community feel for them but for the younger ones that 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 came in and and told me hey Akil I'm, I'm a beginner I'm just trying to learn this stuff um, they're making strides which is which is awesome um, and, and that's what I'm in it for to help help traders and I, I can see a lot of myself in them um, so that's pretty darn cool all right gang hope you enjoyed that now as I promised I'll be back and show you a little a bonus trade that I'm watching and it's on the the swing trading side of things so if I bring up my uh, four-hour chart I actually go to it daily looking at dollar yen on the daily chart and uh, what I talked about in the live room is again we have a, a potential potential short entry at market depending on how the, the market opens up and right here is what we have a what we call a double top and you can see uh, market spiked up here RSI went overbought we then retraced 
spiked up again, testing the same high. And you can see we have bearish divergence on the RSI, basically meaning we made an equal high with price action, but a lower high on our indicator down here, giving us a potentially good setup. Add to that, looking at an ABCD pattern completion, if I take A to B, draw another one in, slide it up, B to C, you'll see an equal harmonic move right here. And just to put some icing on the top, if I take a Fibonacci retracement from swing high to swing low, you'll see we're sitting right at a 786. And if I take a Fibonacci extension from our A leg to our B leg up here, you'll see that we're sitting right on a, a 1618 extension. Now there's a, a few different ways to, to enter this and depending on how we open on, on Sunday, I'll, I'll, I'll bring this up and, and maybe go into more detail with the syndicate members, but I want to bring this to your attention for swing trading. Um, so not advising you take this trade, not saying this is the best trade in the world, but if you're a CTS trader, combined technical score type trader, which is something we teach in our, our trading courses, um, this may be a good opportunity for you to get involved uh, with some pretty pretty low risk um, so that's it for this week I know I said that earlier in the video before but uh, take care traders good luck trading kick some butt in November um, I'll see you back in December hopefully we can make another syndicate killing another uh, live room killing and uh, end a very very great year uh, take care good luck see you next time